fun discipline of architecture, you have many different arts that are included. So for instance, here on the red brick you will see mosaic, you will see sculpture, and also glassware right there on the balcony as well. Also, Catalan modernists, they took their inspiration from nature. So this is why you rarely see any straight lines or angles in their work. It's mostly just curves and also a lot of detail as well. Luis Dominique Montaner, like many other Catalan sculptors and architects, was a very patriotic Catalan. He made sure to include a lot of patriotic Catalan symbols here on his building. So for instance, here you will see the crown of Aragon, which was part of Catalonia at one time. The sculpture right there is known as the Song of Catalonia. On the very top of the mosaic, you'll see a Catalan flag with four red bars over the yellow background as well. So this whole building basically is Catalan. From 1936 to 1939, there was a civil war here in Spain, and the fascist general Francisco Franco won the war. And his idea was that all of Spain be uniformly Castilian or Spanish. So everyone had to speak Spanish, go by Spanish traditions, and pray to the Spanish patron saints. In the first days of Franco's rule, just for speaking Catalan on the street, you could be either executed or imprisoned. In 1960, Francisco Franco came here to listen to a concert. Just for him, they draped the whole top part of this building into a gigantic Spanish flag, just so he didn't have to see all the patriotic Catalan symbols which are on the building. When he went in to listen to a concert and a list of songs to be played, he saw that the last song is going to be a patriotic Catalan composition. As you can imagine, Franco wasn't very happy with that. He sends in his guards to tell the organizers of the concert and the musicians that under no circumstances are they to play this last song. When the musicians get to the last composition, instead of just getting up and leaving, they just set their instruments down and sit there for the duration of the song. There are some people in the audience who are Catalan, one by one they start to get up and to sing the song which they know by heart. As you can imagine, Franco wasn't very happy with this either. He sends in his guards again, the organizers are arrested never to be heard from again, and the people in the audience who were singing the song got up to eight years in prison. Now, unlike Hitler and Mussolini who died in 1945, right after the end of the Second World War, Francisco Franco ruled Spain up until 1975 basically ruling Spain up until the last day of his life. And so as you can imagine, there's still quite a lot of people here in Catalonia and Barcelona who still remember what it was like to live under his rule. And so to them, this building is not only a beautiful example of unique Catalan architecture, but also is a great symbol of their resistance against Madrid as well. Well, if you guys uh, think this building is beautiful from the outside, on the exterior, I definitely encourage you to have a look inside as well. They do tours there for one hour 